just picked up this Helix 7. Shields was having a sale. This is the Gen 3N, which has the networking, so you could do multiple units and uh, use the iPilot link. <clears throat> they had it for sale for $5.99, so just picked that up, and we're gonna replace this old Garmin Striker with a new Hummingbird. Humber did supply with the mounting screws, so there's just four Phillips head and a little grommet. You want to route the wires through that once you drill a hole. So just drill an eighth inch pilot hole and then those screws will go in just fine after that. Before I put the rest of those in, I'm going to drill the hole for this little grommet and put that underneath. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take about a one inch <coughs> hole for that wire hole if you want that grommet to fit.
So all my, you can kind of see, I'm gonna have to go through that insulation. I'll just poke through or get a, like a wood bit and go all the way through so I can poke those wires through. So as far as the transducer goes, I'll just run it through that gunnel hole in the back, through this little hole in the side there, and then that comes up, runs through the side. This is the old Garmin cable, and I'll just run it forward and then up there. So this is the harness for the power. This is what I'm gonna run up to the fuse box under the center console. So I'll take this, I'll run it up underneath, and I'll just come up this hole right here for the power. Then I'll go back and do the transducer, and then I'll put that uh, gimbal mount on. Hopefully this will be long enough to reach the fuse box. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave this end on the outside, obviously that's not gonna fit through the hole. So. This is just a quick tip when you're routing a new transducer line. Use your old transducer cable. Don't pull it through the boat all the way. Take your new one, zip tie it to the old one, throw a piece of tape around it so the connector doesn't get fouled up or anything like that. Then use this to pull it through. Okay, so I got the transducer cable and the power cable routed up now. Go ahead and put this bracket on real quick. There's a little slot in the back, so you know this is the way the this is how you know the this is the back because the wires come up through this slot. So once you got about what you think you need, I would screw the rest of this down. That should be good. Perfect. Then you can take your unit. There's a cap on the power 
connector. Take this one. Plug it in the back. that's going to be. Last thing is just going to take this power cable, put some connectors on there and then hook it up to the fuse box and we'll be ready to power it up. All right, <clears throat> so I got it zip tied how I want it with the wires ran under the dash, got it hooked up to the fuse box and this is the initial startup for the first time. Go into menu for startup, then you can start.